NFL. But this is a little bit different story than we're used to to discussing. Uh, a little touchy. Little, little touchy. little touchy. Let me go on and pull this up on, on the old iPad here. Uh, this is the, the headline of the story from TMZ. Cops. Earl Thomas, NFL star, held at gunpoint by wife in blow-up over alleged cheating. Now, I'm sure by now you have heard the entire story, right? Yes. Okay. So let me give everybody listening the uh, the brief rundown, as brief as I can make it, because there's so many different aspects to this story. He and his wife get into a spat, if you will. All right. Over the fact that he's been at home and he's been drinking a lot while he's at home. I can't argue with that. I'm doing the same thing. It hits 4.30 every day. I'm pouring myself a bourbon. I get it. But if he doesn't have anything that he has to be doing up until 4.30, that man could start at 10 a.m. It doesn't matter. So, he and his wife get into a... uh, Michael said Earl got caught. He just needed Chris's advice. Uh, Look, Earl had been drinking. What advice do I give? uh, With... (laughs) with, I'm guessing... Everybody got one of them things. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, the deal with Earl is he's getting into an argument with his wife over his drinking. He leaves. His brother comes and picks him up. His wife, after a few hours, decides to check up on him. She checks his Snapchat, checks whoever Snapchat, and finds the location where he is because she sees a picture or video or something of him with another woman. So, she's mad, and the brother is with another woman. So, the brother's wife... And Earl's wife get together along with one of their other people, whatever, one of their friends. They they get a, a three man posse together, and they go out to this Airbnb, however far away it may be, and they bust in on Earl and his brother having an orgy with two women at the same time. Little and she's got a, time, just a little, just a little family bonding. That's she, all. Which is weird in and of itself, right? Like that's just. I don't judge people for their sexual proclivities. I just, I don't, it, whatever, whatever rocks your boat. Wait, cool. Whatever you got to do. I, 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 I get it. I don't get into that. I ain't finna judge mm-hmm. nobody. Oh, but, man. so here's the deal. She shows up with a gun. Now, she yep, took the right. clip out. It was a nine millimeter uh, Beretta, right? Takes the clip out, but there's still one in the chamber. She didn't realize that. Now, luckily, she didn't shoot nobody. She didn't realize that. But, yeah, she did. The cop said oh. she didn't realize it. But she oh, had the gun. This so badly. This she had the gun so inches from his head, was pointing it at him, talking all this mad crap, waving the thing around, had her finger Guaranteed on the trigger. Her finger on the trigger. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. They, there's a video of it. So her finger is on I the trigger, and the safety is disengaged. So uh, so all of this stuff's going on. She unloaded. That's why. Oh, yeah. All, she's doing all this because she thinks it's unloaded. She thinks it's unloaded. exactly how people die in these situations. 100%. 100%. So, so all this stuff's going on. Now, one of the, I got to find the uh, the direct quote because she told, uh, here we go. In an interview with Earl's alleged mistress at, the, uh, mistress at the scene, she claimed Nina, who is Earl's wife, also threatened her and the other woman in the house, pointing the gun at them and yelling, I got something for all you hoes. Perfect. Perfect line. This sounds like something straight out of a movie. Like, this is... Unbelievable stuff, right? So, on top of that, you got the other girls in the posse that are waving around knives and whatnot, which is incredible. And when the cops showed up, Nina, Earl, had had wrestled the gun away from her. And when the cops actually showed up, Nina is chasing Earl around the yard with a knife. It's like a butcher knife. She's chasing him around the yard. I have never heard anything like this before. Now, on top of that, Earl comes out with a story. Now, Earl Thomas obviously used to play with the Seattle Seahawks, now playing with the Baltimore Ravens, et cetera, et cetera. Um, This whole thing is bananas, right? He came out with a video today trying to get ahead of it and said, my agent told me TMZ is putting out an article and whatnot. You know, it sucks (laughs) that this is... Uh, the the okay. world we live in now. I didn't want this to get out. It's not that big of a deal. He said, uh, "Not that big of a deal." He said, "Sometimes stuff happens, or stuff like this happens." 
Stuff like this don't happen, Sometimes Earl. I have an orgy with my brother and some hoes. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I shouldn't call them hoes. Nina called them hoes. I don't know the ladies. I'm sure they're nice. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Listen, uh, the best <laughs> advice I have to give. Listen, I give good advice. Okay, just listen up, Nina. Get half and move on. All right. Yeah. If you were down here in Mississippi, you get a whole lot more than half because infidelity is a big deal. In Mississippi. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100 percent I don't know the laws of where y'all live, but I know this. You get it's in Austin, Texas. You get, yeah. you get caught with infidelity in the situation. It's it's more than half, and a lot of prenups get 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 torn up because of that. So you got that right. Uh, let me jump into the chat here. Matt said Earl tweeted once that he feels good to spend time with his little brother. Yeah. Uh McKinnon said Earl ought to be blaring some shaggy wasn't me right now. Uh <laughs> which is it it was him. He admitted to it. I mean, my God. Uh, Michael said, you "Domestic." You around with a knife. You yeah. can't deny. It. You get walked in on. When you get caught up in the act, and, no, and, when, a- and when the cops show up, <laughs> your wife is chasing you around the car with a knife. Like, I guess that's what Shaggy said. You know. it. it wasn't me. Uh, Michael said, me. "Domestic disputes were by far the worst calls I went to as a cop." Yeah, hundred yeah. percent they are because they, I mean oh, it, it's yeah. emotional. Oh, well, like here's the deal. At least we got a lot of video footage from this normally in domestic disputes, there's a whole lot of murkiness and you really don't know what happened. Yeah. But with this, you got video. So, I mean, there's no, we video of exactly. her holding a gun to we his know, head. Nina knew was there. She, she's going to tell you what happened. Yeah. That's, that's some crazy stuff. Uh, Matt said, Earl tweeted, I like to, I like to be challenged under the gun <laughs> because as a competitor, it's important to me to respond and impact the situation in a positive way. Yeah. I remember uh, Matt sent us that earlier. I read it and was like, this is Absolutely hysterical. This is unreal. McKinnon said, this is some shit I'd see in the Ozarks on a wild weekend night. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it's in Austin, Texas. I mean, these are Texas boys. Like, I understand. Uh, and then He's Michael, hanging out with his brother. <laughs> Michael said, I truly believe there are athletes that are faithful, but at least 95% of those dudes cheat. Uh, the chicks marrying them should know that, too. Yeah, I believe it. And then Matt said, ratchet. Look, I'm I ain't here judge to judge anybody. nobody. I'm not going to judge anybody. You do what you got to do. It is what it is. I'm but, really uh, good bro code, okay? I'm not going to dime you out. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I live I, my life the way I want to live it. You live your life the way you want to live it, and I'm not going to judge you for it. I'll tell you this. I couldn't get away with none of this. Like, she was waving a gun around at him. Dude, my wife was on the rifle team. Like, are, are you kidding me? There's no chance I'd be able to get away with something like that. Listen, if your that's, wife, see, it's the problem, okay? Nina my wife could beat my ass. She like, gets to clear, uh, claim uh, ignorance because she really don't know what she's doing with the gun, obviously. All right? Your wife don't get to say that. No, she don't get it's to say that. But it's going to be cold blood. I'll tell you murder. this. Yeah, she she wouldn't just be waving a gun around. like Because she knows what she's doing. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Matt said, Jess can pick you off from two miles away. 100%. Like, I'm scared to death every day of my life, man. <laughs> it's a bad That's rule. A, bad I, won't, hey, I won't be tomorrow. I tell you this, I'm I'm going to have some new hardwood floors in my bedroom. I'm going to feel good. Thanks to Chris, obviously. Email him, Chris at winningcureseverything.com if you want to get some uh some floors in your house and whatnot. So <laughs> appreciate that. Appreciate but that. yes, I I will be fine tomorrow. Uh now we'll see after that. Obviously, anything can happen. But yeah, this whole thing, uh now now let me ask you a serious question about okay. it. Okay. Does the league do anything about this? No, I mean, obviously, he was the victim here, but... Because he, he didn't do anything that they could get him in trouble for. If he beats his girl or he beat his wife or something like that, we're having a different conversation. He didn't do... He got caught cheating on her. The league can't enforce that. Well, I mean, it's... There's you know, they've got they this personal conduct that. policy, and this is like a massive story right now. It, yeah, it, it may be question Listen, it. That's ridiculous, though. That's insane. Yeah, that's I, just I agree. insane. I agree. You got caught in a super stupid public way of cheating on your wife. But at the end of the day, that's what you did. You can't lose your job. You can't be suspended for cheating on your wife. You can have your ass whipped for cheating on your wife. You can have your stuff taken for cheating on your wife, but that's from your wife and her attorneys. Okay. Oh yeah. That is, that is not from your employer. Uh, Matt said uh, they'll probably just come out with an apology. Uh, Probably. I mean, Lee won't come out with anything. Earl Earl's going to say sorry, and then well, I mean, he he already did. He said, you know, we yeah. just we, instead of talking about us, how about you just give us thoughts and prayers right now while we get through this? And it's like I don't know that y'all going to get through this one, brother. Well, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest Nina probably just find that prenup, set it on fire, and and roll on out. A hundred percent, 
hundred percent. That's what I would do. Is find a really good attorney. I, I got to tell you this: I, that that thought has never crossed my mind it, at any point in an argument with my wife. Like, if she's talking to me about my drinking, and then my first thought is, "All right, I'm gonna call my brother and I'm gonna go that's, get some hoes." That's not his first thought. I mean, that's, listen, this ain't the first time him and his brother hung out like that. Because you don't just go to somebody that close and look, I'm not going to judge people for the sexual stuff, but you don't just call up your brother and go get girls and, and have never talked about anything like this before. No, nah, like, you're right. You piss me off and you say, Hey, let's go have sex with some people in the same room together. Like that, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't obviously. just happen. Right. Yeah. This you is, got a point. This is a progress <laughs> of years of living a lifestyle and doing certain things. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm saying he didn't just say, my wife's nagging me. I got to get out of the house. Hey, little brother, what do you want to do? Hey, let's come have sex with these hoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I'm going to be in the room right next to you. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> like that wasn't the first conversation that ever had. No, no. It's, it sounds like this might've been a common occurrence. Like they just already had the Airbnb picked out. It's like, we know where we're going. I don't good. know. But what I'm trying to figure out is how in the world. Uh, so I know like, my wife and I know each other's locations because we got like this life 360 thing, right? It said that she knew where he was because of Snapchat. Like, one, which one of them was dumb enough to post where they were on Snapchat? Like, I don't own, I don't have the Snapchat app. Like, my wife and I deleted that years ago. That's, a, that's the thing for young kids. We too old for that. But if they got the location on, man, that's kind of dangerous, right? Well, it's just not smart. It's, no. not, it's just not smart. You got to be, listen, this is a Hugh Freeze conversation here. I'm not saying what you did was wrong. I'm saying you got to be smarter than this. Oh, 100%. 100%. You can't use the company phone to be making these calls, man. You go to Walmart and get you a phone for $35. You make 4 or $5 million a year. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to figure you out. You get right? fired for being an idiot, not for breaking rules. There we go. I Ben, here, ben said, uh, Ben said snap maps. I... I don't know what that is either. Didn't know that was a thing. And Didn't I don't know, know who used thing. it or who turned it on, but. Somebody's dumb. Again, it's just not smart. It's Somebody's not smart. dumb. Uh, McKinnon said he might lose some sponsors if he has any, nothing illegal or anything the NFL will do about it. Uh, Matt said it's better than pulling a Ray Rice. Michael said teams would have oh, yeah. no players no, left. No, don't beat her. Oh, don't yeah. beat her. Just leave her. Uh, she... Michael said teams would have no players left if you can suspend players for cheating. That's yep. 100% true. And then Michael wanted to do a little PSA here. He said, turn off location services on your phone. Yeah, that's probably a smart way to go about it. Uh, and then McKenna said, there's a GPS function on Snapchat that'll tell you where your friends are if they're transmitting. Oh, see, I don't Hang like on. that. If you if you dig deep into some girl, why is her Snapchat on? That's just... What are you, you, what are you doing? I mean, that whole thing's dumb. That, this whole thing just sounds stupid. Phone just off, not not silent, not on on airplane off, just O F F off. Yes. you got other things going on. Yeah, like it ain't no reason to have your phone going. Uh, Matt said I snap my junk to random people just to show dominance. So <laughs> that's assault, brother. And Matt said this is day one stuff, man. Yeah, and then Michael Michael ended that with the uh, common sense isn't common. So yeah, I mean that's no. You know what's weird though, like. Earl Thomas was always labeled as this is the difference between football smart and real life smart because he's always been seen as one of the smartest players. And that's the reason his career oh, yeah. lasts as long as it has is because you want him on that defense because he's the quarterback of the defense and he knows how to control those guys and, 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 and you know, figure out offensive scheming and, and all this other stuff. I always think high intelligent people should be smarter than they are at other things. But yeah. it just seems to be, I'm one of those guys that's like baseline mediocre at everything. So I come across as pretty smart, but I'm not great at anything. That and makes sense. I guess you've got guys like this dude, which is super smart when it comes to his job and football and figuring these things out and maybe everything outside of that. It's just an idiot. It's entirely possible. I'm not asking him to be a great businessman. I'm not asking well, I mean, him th to be a think, great think scientist. Think about this. Right. Asking him to know if you're going to do shit like this. Turn off the location on your phone. Turn off location. <laughs> or just turn your phone off. I mean, don't it, you ain't even got to make it complicated. Don't Snapchat. Just delete that uh, app. What do you need that app for? Uh, Michael said, oh, man, I have stories for days with how dumb some people can be when cops get involved. We, we might have to get Michael on the show at some point. Just that when, when we got a slow day, just bring him on to tell some cop stories. 
Like, I'd be all over that. All over that. Let's move 